It's time to clean up our viewer inbox with some help from Brian here. So here's what Mary wants to know. Hi, City Line. My name is Mary, and I have some issues with my mom's living room. As you can see, it's the 80s style with plastered ceiling, dated furniture, yellow hardwood flooring, and a covered fireplace. The great thing about this room is the bay window bringing in lots of sunshine during the day. I need help with options of types of window style, design layout idea for this bay to call home sweet home. Mary is doing this for her mommy, yes. right? But she said something about a covered fireplace, but we didn't actually see what she meant by I'll that. I'll show you. We have covered it here. fireplace. We have it here. So I yeah. was thinking, oh, is it covered as in there's a vent in front of it? There's a sofa in front of it. I oh, don't understand dear. it. <laughs> so so um, this is a very bizarre layout. Yeah. This is a very bizarre. So Mary, I don't understand how it got like this, but we'll talk. So <laughs> we have we have the fireplace. We have the sofa in front of the fireplace. Sounds I'm like not, a hazard. I'm talking in for, like right in front of the fireplace. Okay, here. like it's blocking it. It's Can't blocking use it. it. So someone knocked that off. And then the door into the room is here, but there's a love seat and chair here. So if you're sitting here, the door hits the chair. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. So I don't, we have some layout I issues. I don't understand. Right. So I don't understand. Love you, but I don't understand. Leave okay. it to me. Well, this is why Mary called you. She needs me. She needs you. She what definitely are we do? needs me. First of all, this is not the front door of the house. The front door of the house is here, so I'd get rid of the door. Okay. Just get rid of the door. We don't yep. need the door. There's a door to the dining room. A door. You don't need a door. Right. So let's get that off. Then I would have a conversation area. Because remember, the chair was way over here. The sofa yeah. was way yeah. over here. The How do you Yell at each other. Hey, How turn the channel. Exactly. Like it was right? someone sat here and yeah. someone sat way down here. <laughs> and someone sat here and then the door hit the chair. <laughs> so, that means it's a party. So I don't understand. <laughs> but I'm going to fix it. So don't okay. worry. So we're going to put the sofa in the window. Okay. Because... That's where, okay, you have plants, but you should sit where the sun is yes. and enjoy the sun and enjoy all that light. Yeah. So the sofa's here. So here's a sofa. I do a really comfy sofa. That's a beautiful sofa. And we'll put that here. And then what I would do is two chairs opposite. So I would do like a really comfy chair like that one, a mm. slip covered swivel chair here mm -hmm. and here. Now, if you want, you can put a little light chair. See this chair here? Yeah. So it's very light. It's very open. You can put that there as an extra chair. And then a, a big coffee table because you want to be able to entertain there, put your feet up, uh, put food down on mm -hmm. there so you want that. I would... Um, reopen the fireplace. Now, if it's completely sealed and the chimney's gone, get a beautiful electric fireplace or just put a mantle up. Right. But really re reinstate that as the focal point because the chimney breast is there, so it's not like... You also, can't... people pay a lot of money to have a fireplace. A lot Why of money are we covering that? that? So this is a great suggestion. Even if it doesn't work, we talk on City Line all the time about the way you can make it just look good. Absolutely. Put candles in it. Correct. You can lean art on it. There's so many things you can do with that and space. And there's great units now there's a company called Dimplex, and they yeah. make steam units. And oh. it really looks like flames. And what it is, yeah. it's a reservoir of water yeah. that heats up. It's got light bulbs and the fake logs like you would have in a gas fireplace. Yeah. And steam comes. You cannot tell the difference. Oh, I it love looks that. Like. I'll show that on a future episode. Okay. And then on either side of the fireplace, I would either do a tall shelf unit. Yep. Okay. And fill that with books mm -hmm. and family photos and things like that. Or you could do a console table like this on either side. Nice. And put art above each one. And then I do nesting tables like this yeah. on either side of the sofa, there and there with lamps, because at night there's nothing nicer than um, lamp lighting. That's and right. And it's also pretty when you look in the house. If you want to keep the plants, put a console behind the sofa, and you could put a few plants there. And then some color yeah. with art, like this over the fireplace, um, and then wallpaper. Yes. I would wallpaper that to warm up the space. You so also got... picked some rugs out, didn't you? I did. Now, look at the size of the rug. Yeah. So the furniture should really sit on the rug. You could have just the front of the sofa on, but these chairs should be completely on the rug. So you want to have a chair, that, uh, a, a, a carpet that really encompasses the whole room. It'll make it cozy. It'll help with the, with the acoustics. Yeah. So you can either go bold with color or keep the whole room neutral if you want. And the same with the accents. Let's say we're doing this carpet. Mm -hmm. Then we would use the blue accents as the pillow, oh, the blue nice. on the carpet, the neutral on the um, sofa, uh -huh. 
and then a wallpaper that maybe has a little bit of blue and cream in it, and then bold art over the fireplace. That's good. Like, Mary got a really good uh, free layout right now. This is why you need to email us your pictures. Oh, this I'm is exhausted. good. <laughs> like, he actually did it. This is good, though. This is what you pay a lot of money for a designer. Oh, yeah. To do the layout is what a lot of us are getting wrong. So, very well done. And remember, <laughs> remember you can ask Brian and any of our experts about any of your design dilemmas or just about anything. You just ask him where he got his suit from. Isn't it nice? Yeah. It's a good suit. Email us at submissions at cityline.tv. Include your video, include your pictures just like Mary 